we would just be totally at their mercy because if they, if they've got spaceships that can get from other star systems to here, yeah, we don't have anything like that. I hope you come in peace. <laughs> well, this is like this is why it's called this like this this is like a uh, great physicist Enrico Fermi, who posed the question of like, where are the aliens? Um, now, a lot of people ask me, like, what about the aliens? Have you seen any evidence of aliens? So you think within 20 years, yes, we oh. have alien in Earth? <laughs> well, other intelligent life outside the Earth? It seems probable, but I think this is, this is one of the great questions in physics and philosophy, uh, is uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us, I don't know. Uh, some people think I'm an alien. So there'll be... The, the, you say the great filter. What did you mean by that? It's only a matter of time. There's something called like the Fermi paradox of like, where mm -hmm. are the aliens? Yeah. So, you know, where are the aliens? There either are a lot of aliens or none. And the, either they're equally terrifying. Like if there are so many planets out there um, and the universe is almost 14 billion years old, why, why aren't the aliens everywhere? This is a, one of the most perplexing questions because you could basically bicycle to Alpha Centauri in a few hundred thousand years. Like, meaning at that's at bicycle speed. So it's sort of like in a hundred billion years, like even at a very slow speed, you could completely blanket the galaxy. Where are they? They believe that human beings are not from Earth. They came from somewhere else human being alien to this mm -hmm. land. Do you think we'll make contact with alien within the, the next 50 years? Well, that's a really tough one to say. Um, I mean, if, if there are super intelligent aliens out there, they're probably already observing us. That would seem quite likely. And we just um, are not smart enough to realize it. Um, but. I can do some, some back of the envelope calculations and um, any advanced alien civilization that, that was at all interested in populating the galaxy, um, even without, uh, without exceeding the speed of light, even if you're only moving at say 10 or 20 percent of the speed of light, um, you could uh, populate the entire galaxy in let's say 10 million years. Then probably they've got much better technology than we Oh, we're done. Yeah, we're totally. <laughs> so we're at their mercy. It's, it's it seems we're like totally at their mercy. This is so interesting. Well, it of always, course. It, does it not seem like it's always like going to be violent, one, and two, they're more advanced than us. But why can't we well, be They're going to be way more advanced, not a little bit more advanced. But why um, is that? So we'll be to I would just be totally at their mercy because if, they, if they've got spaceships that can get from other star systems to here, yeah. we don't have anything like that. Right, that's true. So. Yeah, Wasn't some, there? Uh, probably, probably got some badass space lasers. Yeah. Well, like, well, who knows why? You think you know, we have some cra cra like crazy antimatter weapons? Or like, basically, it would be hopeless. Like, we would just be like children or something. Mm. Yeah. If there are a lot of aliens, well, I mean, the invasion ship slash, uh, you know, bug infestation. Just you know, like, <laughs> the, the, Starship like, Trooper style. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like it's an alien civilization might just view us as like a bug infestation, right. you know. It's like, hey, we left that planet, it was fine, now it's got a bunch of bugs, just go fumigate it, you know. Um, like, we fumigate a house. Um, <laughs> that, that's certainly possible. And then, uh, but if there are no aliens, well, could it be that all civilizations are just destroyed before they become interstellar? Inter, uh, yeah. uh, like Pentagon General, who, who said, who, who, because people kept on bugging about aliens and stuff, and he said, listen, if, if we had any evidence of aliens, if I had an alien, I would drag that, an alien body or something. I'd, I'd, I'd show you the alien body because you know what? If I showed you the alien body, we'd get our budget approved instantly. So, and, and this is a case where the potential, the range of negative outcomes, are quite, some of them are quite severe. Um, so it's not clear whether we'd be able to recover from some of these negative, negative outcomes. In fact, some of the, so you can construct scenarios where um, recovery of human civilization does not occur. So there might be aliens in like a far away portion of the galaxy. If, if by aliens, I think you mean like with spaceships that could potentially travel to here or something like that. If you've uh, seen it like face to face, what's the first thing you say to an alien? Uh, 
Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you come in peace. Um, Mir Singh, if, if they can understand English, then they will have been observing us for a long time. Maybe discovered by some future alien race, thinking, what the heck, what, what were these guys doing? Did they worship this car? <laughs> Why do they have a little car in the car? <laughs> That'll really confuse them. Here's the thing. Do you think that they would want us to know? Or do you think they would just be observing and making sure we don't blow ourselves up? Would, would, I don't know, man. They're real civilization. They sure are subtle. I mean, if they yeah. wanted us to know, obviously they, they could just For sure. you know show up and walk yeah. down Main Street. You know, right. like, hey, I'm an alien. Check me out. You know? Right. Uh, he has my spaceship and just land in the middle of Times Square. I'd be like, right. Okay. I mean, we have archaeologists going all over the world looking at things. You know, there's this uh, people like if if we were to find something like let's say like a cube of titanium, just like a one inch cube of titanium, see in the middle of the pyramid, I'd be like. Aliens for sure. There's no way they could have made a titanium back then. Mm. Nope, there's no way. Why, why Elon? Because this, because like, why do we need to build a city on Mars with a million people on it in your lifetime? Which I, I think is kind of what you've said you'd love to do. Well, I think it, it's it's best to prepare for uh, uh, to, to try to prevent a negative circumstance from occurring than to wait for it to occur and then be reactive. It's important to have um, a future that is inspiring and appealing. I mean, I, I just think that there, like, there have to be reasons that you get up in the morning and you want to live. So you would start with Mars, build bases on Mars, then yeah. use Mars to jump off to all these other planets, set up places there, and yeah. over thousands of years, easily. Yeah, just, just, just yeah. kind of like, you know, so hop from one solar system to the next and so wait, is there better? We do have space lasers. Of course. What do you think? Please. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to protect myself if the invasion happens? Yeah. Just call Elon. I, I think this is just an incredibly important thing for the future of life itself. That, that's, that's one part of it, which is that there's always some chance that something could go wrong on Earth. Um, so, and then there have been so many extinction events, not like just a few. Uh, and when the risk is that severe, it seems like you should be proactive and not reactive. If you, if you know that there's, a, there's likely to be, we don't know, but there's likely to be another Dark Ages, which it seems, my guess is there probably will be at some point. Um, I'm, not, I'm not predicting that we're about to enter the Dark Ages, but that there's some probability that we will, particularly if there's a Third World War. Um, then we want to make sure that there's enough of a, of a seed of human civilization somewhere else uh, to bring civilization back um, and perhaps uh, shorten the length of the Dark Ages. Now, and the thing is that um, on a galactic time scale, even with sub-light travel, you could absolutely colonize the whole galaxy, even some of the neighboring galaxies. Um, so if you gave, if you said a million years with, with, with and say we, there's, no, there's no new physics, could you colonize the galaxy in a million years? Absolutely, the entire galaxy. But there's also um, an inspiring reason, which is that life can't just be about solving problems. There have to be things that inspire you, that, that move your heart, that make you glad to be, to, when you wake up in the morning, you're excited about the future. Um, and going out there and being a multi planet species, being a space bearing civilization and making science fiction, not fiction forever. I think that's one of those things.